There's a well-known TV show that doesn't measure its success by network ratings, instead by the number of criminals it sends to jail. Fugitive Watch is a success story 20 years in the making. The cable TV program that first launched in San Jose is now catching criminals worldwide. Here's NBC Bay Area's Marianne Favreau. For the past 20 years, Fugitive Watch has shown you criminals on the run, so you can help police track them down. During those two decades, the show has helped land more than 1,200 fugitives behind bars. We've caught people all over the world. Uh, we've located people in Russia, uh, I mean everywhere. This might be related to uh, some binge drinking. Scott Castruita and Steve Ferdine started the project while they were beat cops with San Jose PD, looking for ways for more people to see their wanted posters. Since then, they both retired from the force, but say Fugitive Watch is a force all its own. They're particularly proud their show and website helped police arrest this man, Cain Castaneda, in San Jose. He was wanted for murdering a police officer in Mexico and was working as a realtor in San Jose. For each crime solved and for each fugitive that's apprehended, uh, that stops that criminal's pattern of uh, victimizing others and prevents other people from becoming victims. East Palo Alto, these two... Cowards, I may say. Fugitive Watch has also convinced criminals to turn themselves in. We had a murder suspect in San Jose call us up and say, hey, look, you know what? You guys have me all over your internet and TV, and the guy wanted to turn himself in, and we worked, we worked it out with him and the, and the police departments. Now the TV show is working to solve this cold case. Salvador Suarez has been on the run since 1990 after he allegedly shot to death a man in San Jose. This sketch depicts what he might look like now. He may be on the run, but by harnessing the power of TV and the Internet, Fugitive Watch founders say there are few places he can hide. In San Jose, Mary Ann Favreau, NBC Bay Area News. We should add, the show's website received a tip about an elaborate plan to murder a bailiff in a San Jose courtroom. Police were able to prevent that attack. Fugitive Watch is on Comcast On Demand. Well, they 